Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Angry Hippie Lady, and all I've got to say is curiosity killed the cat. <sighs> Sadly, both of my cats are still alive. <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't like cats, but I wouldn't wish my cats to be dead. Anyway, let's avoid this conversation, and I'm going to try and get in here and get the stuff in this. Oh wait, I don't want it to do that. No, no. I want it to stay in a single little thingy like that. There we go. There. I just want one singular stream going down. Actually, that's gonna encourage it to not be one singular stream until after those three are gone it's gonna reach it before those go away dang it I was not wanting such things alright well we'll just leave it whatever alright now I'm gonna do this in every corner to minimize the amount of mobs this will not slow down or stop the spawning of ghasts once we get on its level um, but this will take care of the m mobs, which is probably the biggest problem. Um, you know what, I am gonna put, m I'm not gonna put money on it, but I would put money on it that in that chest is just fall feather falling boots. I, I would bet on that being so. Okay. I need more lava. I didn't... Dang it, I didn't make ladders. I am not a smart person. <laughs> Repeat it with me. I am not a smart person. The first step is admitting that you have a problem. Okay. This feels really freaking close to that spawner. <gasps> Ooh! Okay. That's there. That happened. All because I was a little freaked out about being too close to that spawner. You ever have something happen in Minecraft and you feel like this cold chill? Yeah, I'm still experiencing that. <laughs> Alright, let's just place the torch right there. Just fall all the way down. Okay. Plan on just grabbing this lava here. I can get down to it semi safely, that is. And I can. Okay. Good thing is, is that lava is not in a short supply on this map, which is nice because I love lava. Okay, let's get back up to our way up. It's over here. It's a little janky, but it gets us up there. So it works. Actually, we need to get blocks on our bar. Use these up since they're kind of useless and just taking up space. Alright, gotta get up here. This is either gonna be... I'll make a staircase of sorts for this part. Um, this is either gonna be feather falling boots that I already have or a stick. And if it comes down to that, I'd rather have the feather falling boots. At least then I have an escape plan, somewhat. Um, I really don't have a plan. I kind of, I think I'm just going to end up, uh, let's make another staircase, please. Oh, come on. There. I guess that's as high as it's going to get. Yeah, it was hard enough placing the next stair step. This might... This is costing me more blocks in the long run, or, yeah, but it's saving my pick. Alright, there. Alright. And then we need to go straight up from here. Awesome. It's also giving me a place to kind of start 
working my way over to the actual building. Now I did look at going up underneath because you can see now that that is mossy cobble down there on the floor uh, but there is a layer of bedrock at least there is above the um, uh, fleecy box. I don't know if it went everywhere else too because there was obsidian there so he probably didn't put it there and I probably could have just dug through the obsidian but it takes forever to break obsidian and I don't have a diamond pick and I don't think I have one in my chests I might actually have one in store um, yeah as soon as one dies two more spawn so I just need to get all this stuff lighting up the area like I said, if I can take care of these regular nighttime spawns, or dark spawns, or whatever you want to call them, I could potentially get in there and then jump down fairly quickly. Okay, let's do it right here. Uh, do I? Yeah, I do have another one. Okay. And let's see, okay, so there's a little bit of debate going on here in my head. I could jump down there. Now, I don't know the ratio that, the or the amount of hearts that my iron armor will protect me for. So, it's probably not the smartest thing to do. I could go down to my stairs right there and pillar over, um, spawning a ton of gas uh, along the way or I could go down to one of those and pillar over which they are slightly closer um, they're a little bit lower but that would also give me a good getaway and I could jump in there real quick hopefully real quick and grab the stuff I'm probably gonna end up having to break a few of those spawners I'm thinking that going from the skeleton thing is gonna be probably my best bet actually um, they're relatively close at their closest and actually almost on the level that they need to be or I need to be on to raid them or to raid the gas thing so I think that's what I'm gonna do so let's get down here let's get down to business to defeat the Huns. Sorry. I I was about to say I'd never do it again, but I that would be lying. <laughs> and I've always said that I would never lie on my YouTube channel. Uh oh. This is a very dangerous move. up here I bet I can feel it in my bones nope okay cool awesome good one's already spawned where is he I want to go ahead and kill him there we go all right so it begins. This is probably going to be just like that episode with the red wool where I was like, oh yeah, there's totally something going to, there's totally going to be something there and there never was. But now we do see a chest and it has a piece of sand over it and he's never made a troll chest with a piece of sand on it. He has made a troll chest with obsidian covering it. Um... He has made just plain old troll chests. I'm waiting for this gas. Because I'm trying to make sure not to let them build up. I think that's a very important thing. <laughs> okay. How many blocks do I actually have? I don't have that many. It's not going to take that many to get over there. Let's kind of do a little um, thingy here. 
kind of protect myself. Because the longer I'm here, uh, the more skeletons are spawning. And the more they're spawning, the less safe my getaway is. Oh, that didn't do right. Okay. No, no. And you're dead. Okay. Where? Ow. Bye bye. That kind of helps too. Okay, so that gas is kind of going off in left field. Um, let's kind of block this off too. And then we'll put up a few blocks here to kind of help protect us. I don't want to get what I, if it's a good item. I don't want to get it and then die with it seconds later. I mean, that would probably be the saddest thing ever. So, I've only got 26 blocks though, so I need to just get in there and do this. I love the sound of lava in the morning. Okay. One spawned. Lot spawned. The drop rate is a little bit different now. Or, yeah, now than it was not during this time. There's another one up there. I'm waiting for him to kind of let himself be seen. Because I think I'm at the... Yeah, I placed a block on the thing. It's just a matter of breaking into it now. And Okay, there he is. I'm not on my arrow or my bow. Did he shoot multiple times or are there multiple shooting at me? Okay. Let's listen for a moment. I only hear. Is there only the one that's way over there in the lava? I think so. Okay. Let's go. Oh, there's one already spawned. Let's back up. Quite literally. Okay. We are in. Or we have broken in. Let's get in here. Have our bow ready. Okay. This one's the fastest. Okay. Break these. Come on, a little bit faster. Oh, this one's gonna spawn any second now. No, no. You are not appreciated. Oh, look, there's a ghast here. I'm worried about him breaking the chest now. Oh man, it's been so long since I've been able to hit a gas ball back. Like, with my fist. Okay, what's in here? Kazir the omen... Or Omid Cutter? I can't. I, I didn't read it. Oh, wow! I am so glad we did this. This is awesome. This went way better than expected. I love when that happens. And this is an episode of its own. Jesus Christ. Sorry, I didn't mean for it to be, but... Crap, this sword is amazing. You gonna shoot again? Let's just get out of here. There's nothing here left for us. We've gotten iron from here. We've gotten three wools. And now we've gotten this beauty. And that's going to help us a whole lot. I'm so glad I went for that. Because that's going to help us uh, in, the, in the game. What little we have left. Look. I am not here. 
I'm, I'm not here. <laughs> Please leave a message after the beep. Beep. Please don't leave a message because I am not going to answer. No, I'm kidding. You can leave a comment and I will answer. I promise. I love responding to comments. It's nice. Anyway, um, I guess I'll just keep you guys here while I run and get the wool. And we can go and place that. So, I think, let's see, how many wools do we have left? Is it three? After our last episode? I can't remember. Nope, I don't want to deal with you guys. See ya. Bye bye. Alright, let's make sure that we only have the one wool. Because I felt like I didn't place one of them last time, and I might have. Alright, let's go place this real quick. If I don't see the green wool on there, or I think, I think we have the pink wool. I don't know. If I'm missing a wool and you know it, let me know in the comments below. <laughs> Because I want comments. <laughs> Ignore what I said about not wanting messages. I don't answer real life messages on like the um, message machine. I don't even use the phone. I hate phones. I've talked about this before. Okay, I do see. Okay, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. We're good. We are good. There's a gray wool. Only got the cyan, the blue wool, and the black wool left. The black wool is most definitely going to be in the nether. And it's the one and only wool probably in the nether since it is all by itself. Um, this one, I think I know where it is. Um, there was a redstone area that we went to a long time ago that I accidentally dug into because I heard mobs while I was kind of healing and dug to them. And so that's probably where that is. Blue wool is probably the spider area, or not the spider area, but the area that we backed out of and went over to the mossy cobble area. And then, like I said, black wool. The gold and diamond is probably going to be in the nether, to be honest. Um, I would at least put the diamond in there. The gold, you know, could be in one of those two dungeons, three dungeons, or, yeah, two. Two others in the overworld. So, yeah, I guess in the next episode we will try for, we'll go back to that redstone area. Where was it? I think I know where it was. Um, and try and defeat that. And so, yeah, I will see you guys there. Thank you all for watching. I'm Angry Hippie Lady, and I will see you in the next episode. Peace out.